Hello and welcome to my channel. It's Jill from Flip and Thrift on Poshmark and it's Flip and Thrift on Instagram. And you can also find me on Depop as Flip and Thrift and eBay as well. So this video is going to be me doing a little recap of my November sales. It was a decent month. It wasn't my best month but I think that can be attributed to a few things. I was spending more time trying to relist items rather than putting new inventory up and I was also focusing a lot on cross-listing onto new platforms to try to increase my sales. So that being said, I will go over whether I think that cross-listing is worth it and potentially something that you should look into for your business. So I sold a total of 105 items across three platforms as well as had one large direct sale for a total of about $2,500 in sales. Now that is after the platform fees and before the cost of goods. If we break it down by platform, on Poshmark I sold 85 items for about $2,000 in sales which was an average sale price of about $24 per item which is right on par with where I've been at. On eBay I sold four items which I know doesn't sound like a lot but I did just start on eBay maybe seriously posting around the middle of October so I'm definitely starting to see the fruits of that labor show and sales are starting to pick up there. So the total sales there were $160 which is about $40 per item however that does include the shipping cost. I do generally have a flat rate shipping cost of $15 for across Canada. It usually works out to around that, sometimes it's a bit more, sometimes a bit less. And when I ship internationally, I have inputted an estimate of what I think the packaging will be and eBay will calculate the shipping cost for me. And on Depop, I sold six items. Two of them were actually bundles, which was the first time that's happened to me, which I thought was pretty cool. And again, on Depop, I have a flat rate of shipping of $10 for across Canada. I think I have inputted $20 for international, but I have asked people to message me and I can calculate if that's correct or if it needs to be adjusted. So Depop brought in $171, which averaged about $28 per item. And my one direct sale was a bundle of 10 items to my good friend Quincy. Thank you very much for your purchase and continuing to support my business if you're watching this. And she bought the bundle for $150. So that was a nice sale. And I think she loved all her items, so I was happy about that. So as a result of cross-listing, I sold 10 more items, 20 if you include the direct sale, which brought in an extra almost $500, which $500 extra dollars really I think is significant. It doesn't take that much effort to cross list, the picture's already done, you've already written your descriptions, basically all you're doing is copying and pasting. In eBay there are a few more fields you have to fill out, but it's pretty straightforward and it's not as scary as people make it out to be, I think. In terms of shipping, yes, it is a little bit more work. I use Canada Post most of the time and all you have to do is input your address, which if you have a small business account, which is actually free, you can save your address in there. So that step's done. You input the recipient's address, which you'll get when you receive the payment, and then you input the shipping, the package details, so the size and the weight. That's it. It's really not that complicated. and. I'd love to help you and walk you through this if ever you decide to go to new platforms. Send me a message on Instagram and I will help you out. In terms of the shipping charges, I charged a total of about $112. My total shipping costs were about $130. So it wasn't perfect, it wasn't even, but I do generally mark up my items enough to count that I will have some discrepancies in the shipping. So I'm honestly okay with it because the flat rate is easy enough for me and I think it's nice for buyers to get a little bit of a good deal sometimes on their shipping. So that is kind of the general overview. And then the second part of this video, which we'll get into, is I thought I'd highlight a few sales. I'll talk about five of my fastest flips and five of my highest value sales. And I'll include a picture here, so I'll scoot over. So the first item is, it actually sold the next day after posting it, it was this pair of Lululemon Bermuda Still Shorts, so they were like a knee length short. They sold on November 7th for full price of $40, so I was very happy about that. The next is another Lululemon item, these were actually my own that I just 
didn't wear very often so I decided to post them and see if I can get some money back for them. They were a pair of the Wonder Under grey leggings. I posted them for 50 I got a few likes so I sent an offer the next day. Or it was actually the same day I think that they sold. Anyway, so I sent an offer of 10% off, so $45 with $9.99 shipping, and someone took me up on that offer and they sold within a day of being listed, so I was very happy to move those. And those sold on November 21st. The next item could actually go into both categories because it was one of my top five high dollar sales, but I'll include it in this category. It was this pair of taller Uggs, like kind of knee height. I listed them, they sold within two days from an offer from the buyer. I had them listed I think at $100, they sent me a $75 offer which was very generous and I was happy to accept, and those sold on November 18th. The next item, you may see a trend here, in Lululemon, they were a pair of reversible groove pants. Again, I think they sold within two days of being listed, two days or the next morning, and from an offer from a buyer for $40, I had them listed at 50 so with that quick of a flip I was happy to accept it and they sold on November 7th. Final item on the fast flips was a pair of Timberland boots. They were just like the classic teddy fleece style. They were a little scuffed up. I was gonna put some work into fixing them up but I didn't get around to it so I just listed them as is for $50. Someone sent me an offer for 40 very quickly and I was very happy to accept that and get them shipped out and those sold on November 7th. On to the highest dollar sales. So the first item was a pair of Ultra Boost running shoes. These were actually from my own closet as well. I just wasn't wearing them as much as I should and figured that I'd list them and see if anyone else could make better use of them. So I had them listed for a little while. I had recently dropped the price from 150 to 120 and then someone sent me a $100 offer which I thought was reasonable so I went ahead and accepted that and those sold on November 25th. The next item you might recognize from another one of my What Sold videos and it was this Trespass metallic one-piece ski suit with a fur hood. It was an amazing piece. I did pay up for it but I still got a good return so Keep in mind, sometimes it's worth paying up for items. It sold for $100 on November 15th, and that was on an offer from the buyer. She had sent an, up, an offer, I countered, and she accepted. So again, also don't be afraid to counter if the offer isn't quite what you wanted. Another option too, instead of just straight up countering, is you can send a message. Create a bundle, send a message to the buyer, and suggest maybe meeting in the middle and a price. That way, if they don't get back to you, you can always go back and accept their initial offer if you were kind of on the fence about it. The third item was a pair of Mother the Hustler jeans. I've had these, I think, since the summer. I had bought them on retail arbitrage at Nordstrom Rack when they were having some sales. The buyer sent me an offer for $90 on November 14th and I was very happy to send those off and I hope that she likes them. The next item is a pair of North Face Flow Shoot Winter Boots. They sold for $75 on November 22nd and if I'm not mistaken that was an offer from the buyer. I think I had them listed around 100 and that was a very reasonable price. The final item on this list is another pair of winter boots. These were the Snow Angel and they sold for $65 which was what I had listed them as. I had recently dropped the price and then reposted them because I didn't get any bites which don't be afraid to do. Even if an item has a ton of likes and you've maxed out your offers, just those people weren't interested at the time. If they really want the item, they will search and find it again. And they sold for full price, I think within a few days of relisting for $65 on November 13th. That's my sales overview. If you have any more categories that you'd be interested in seeing in the future, I was thinking about doing maybe like the slowest sales or the lowest dollar sales, just some by Felicia, as some other resellers call that category. Um, I'll maybe include that in my December sales overview video, but all in all, I think cross-listing is definitely worth it, definitely something to look into. Uh, figure out what platforms are available to you, maybe certain items will sell better on other platforms, and there's no harm in trying. So. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you give it a nice thumbs up before you leave as it helps in the algorithm. And until next time.
Bye. Oh, and I forgot to mention, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification so that you know when I come out with new content.